Speak Broccoli! Hello and welcome to this Speak Broccoli tutorial. Today I'll be looking at set design and lighting part 2. This video will focus on my stop motion short, Lego Lord of the Rings Never Trust an Elf. I'm going to take you through two key scenes in this short. First up is the nightclub scene with Gandalf. I'll show you how I made the set and lit it. And the second scene will be the collapsing stairs in the mines of Moria. And again, I'll show you how I made the set and how I lit it. So let's get started. Here is the nightclub scene, the Balrog Blitz. It's quite a simple set. One main sheet for the wall and one for the ground. The ground is wood painted black and the wall is foam card. You can use any type of card, but the foam card will allow you to carve into it. For me, what brings it to life is the paint. The trickiest part of the set was the Balrog Blitz lettering. I made that out of really fine twisty wire, the kind that normally comes in packaging. I glued it into place and then gave it a few coats of red paint. To give the wall more detail, I carved out some brickwork with the top of a pen. Then I painted the whole thing black making sure to get the recesses and once that had dried I painted a maroon red colour on top just to make it stand out a little better. For the stairs I used two pieces of styrofoam which I painted black on one side. I used a hot wire cutter to carve out the stairs. Now this is a fairly specialised piece of equipment but it does produce great results. An uneven kind of jagged look. But if you don't have a hot wire cutter you could use a sharp knife or even build the stairs out of Lego. Now unfortunately, after I'd finished this short, the bottom of the right staircase actually snapped off. So that's why this part is missing. Using some hardback comics though, I set the right staircase at a higher point to give that steep climb look. Just requires the right amount of framing to keep them out of the shot. Next part is the lighting. For the Balrog Blitz scene, I stuck a red sheet of paper to the wall. This would create the red glow from inside the club. I placed the characters in a line. I had two key lights either side of the set, one blue and one red. I used these DSLR flash gel holders to change the colors of my light. They come with a bunch of colors and slot neatly into a pouch, which I then Velcro to my lights. Once I knock off the house lights, you'll see how dramatically these two lights can change the scene. You could fine tune your lights depending on how bright you want the scene by moving them closer or further away. One other thing you notice about Gandalf is that his face is almost completely in shadow. So to fix that in the close-ups, I put some blue tack on his head which allowed me to place his hat further back reducing the shadow. For lighting the stairs, I kept the same red sheet as a background. I used one light with no gels to light the backdrop and one with a pink gel to light Gandalf. I knocked off the house lights and turned on Gandalf's light. Then I tinker with the positioning of each till I find the look I want. I try knocking off each light to see what it's doing and if it's better with or without it. Once I find my lighting, then I begin animating. And if you haven't seen my first set design and lighting tutorial, then you can check it out here. You've been watching Set Design and Lighting Part 2. Thanks again for checking out this Speak Broccoli tutorial. Stay tuned for more. Speak Broccoli!